Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. <clears throat> Today I'm going to be showing you a very, very basic thing, uh, but you know, maybe you just didn't think about it like this. I mean, you probably did. If you're at all familiar with Scratch, you could probably skip this tutorial. This tutorial probably won't help you very much. But to those of you who are new, uh, I'm here today to show you how to use randomization to your advantage. Such as maybe you want an Easter egg in your game that only shows up a specific time. Like it, it only shows up a specific time. Like maybe whenever you click the green flag, there's like a who knows percent chance that it'll be a different title screen. Who knows? So start by deleting that cat and we'll start with a I'm going to show you like a basic Easter egg system. I'll do uh, a couple things that I can think of off the top of my head. So let's just come into here and let's say you have a, I don't know, you have, my goodness, a title screen that that's, that's good. So you got, you got your good game. You got your good game title screen, right? Good game title screen. I know what I always like to do is a DK. This would be to, oh my goodness, I can't spell. DK tutorial tutorial. I like to, I like to do stuff like that. Anyways, a DK tutorial tutorial, bam. Uh, maybe you got some little cool design at the bottom. Maybe this is like the sky. Who knows? Oh boy, it's the sky, guys. There's some clouds. Cause get it? It's, it's the sky. Cause it's sky. Okay. So here you go. Here's your title screen, right? It's called like normal title. Something, something along those lines. Normal title. Let's say you want a chance that you have this secret title screen that only shows up a specific amount of the time. Oh my goodness, there's that a voice crack. Did you hear that? My goodness, that was bad. That only shows up a specific amount of the uh, specific amount of the time. Obviously, I'm just doing this really fast. This is gonna look awful, but you know, who really cares? Who, who cares? We're all just having a good time. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. Boom, look at that. Here's your secret. You're going to call it maybe like secret title. Like, boom, look. You got your normal title and your secret title. Let me show you one of the ways that you could use this to your advantage. So, when the green flag is clicked, make a variable. I just like to rename the first one. Call it maybe secret. That maybe this, this variable can be used anywhere else in your game where you have a secret. It can be called at any time. So it'll set secret to, let's say you want a 1 in 25% chance, or you want a 1 in 25 chance that your thing, that your title screen will have the secret. So you'll set your secret to pick random 1 through 25. And then you'll go here into control, grab yourself an if else, grab yourself an equal, whatever number you want uh, the secret to be on. I'll just use 16 as an example. If secret equals 16, Switch backdrop to secret title. Else, switch backdrop to normal title. So, when you do this, this is set, so pick random. Every single time it's recalled, it'll recall a random number in between those. So every single time you do this, it'll set the secret. Did not show? Okay, there it is. So every single time, it'll set secret to a random number. That doesn't need to be shown, though. So, and then if it is 16, it'll set it to your secret title. If it's, if it's anything else besides 16, you'll get your normal title screen. So let's check. Boop, 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 boop. Then there we go. We got a secret title screen. See, there, there, there's an interesting way I could come up with using it. Uh, let's come up with another one. All right. So my next idea is let's say you have oh I don't know like you're doing a little boss fight right I'll just quickly design like a very very lazy kind of thing to fight a boss on 
I don't know. I'm not creative. I'm not creative. I'm not cool. I'm not hip. I'm not hip, guys. Help. I'm not hip. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. That's what I am. I'm nervous. I don't know what that is. Big cloud. There we go. Nice. So, here's like your little arena. Who knows? Arena. And let's say you... I'm not going to actually make a character, but I'll make like this little ball, right? That'll have different patterns of like shooting. Who knows, right? So, okay. Here, here's, your, here's your boss. Here is your boss. So, let's just like duplicate him. Just give him a second costume in case we need it. So. We'll do. Well. Put him like right here. Because chances are it's just going to go boop. Yeah and then we'll have this guy here. Well you know yeah we don't even need that little arena thing. I'll just keep it like this. So people that are looking at the project don't get confused. Okay cool. So now this guy might as well switch his color from blue. So it's it's he's easy to see. We'll do like a pink. Oh. Oh, let's just do a green. My goodness. I'm spending way too much time just thinking of a thing. Okay, so here he is. He's our little boss. So we'll do one space click. He will like set up an attack. Obviously, you'd set this up in a big thing that repeats itself. I'm just doing this as an example. So what it'll do is, again, you can recall your secret thing, right? Or you can name this whatever you want. It literally doesn't matter what you name it. Um, let's do like he has two different moves. So you pick pick random one, two. And what you do is you'll grab an if else. If equals one. And secret. So if secret equals one. Then he will. Oh, okay. How about this? He'll glide over this way. So he'll glide once he'll glide one second there and then glide one second back to his center then also set this up so that he goes to the center all the time there we go just like that so here we go so he'll, he'll do that and then else so meaning if it's two but just in case if you want to do a safe keep just to make sure Always do this if secret equals two because you never know when you might accidentally mess up code later and make secret change when you don't want it to. So just make sure this is like that. And then this way he'll glide this way. Glide one second of there. Back to the center. Okay. Here we go. So now we have our little thing. And it has a random chance of giving us the... Oh, you seen it there for a second. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. And then we hit space. Alright, his thing was secret 2. His secret was set to 2. It was set to 2 again. And now at that time it was set to 1. Set to 1. Set to 2. Set to 1. Alright, that's another way you can use randomization. I love this pick random block. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, now let's think of another way that we could use this. All right, so the next way that I found of, or that I have my idea of using it was in recoil of bullets. Like if you were to make a shooting game, uh, recoil of how the bullet moves. So let's just quickly, quickly make a little bullet. Don't have to really think too much about it. It's a bullet. There. Well, let's make it a little bit bigger just for just for reasoning. All right. Here we go. I'll just call it bullet. So when I don't know what should be our attack. Let's do like Z. Z is shooting. Just for an example. When I see Z shoot, when I, when I, or when key Z is pressed. Um, uh, create a clone and uh, again if you're new clones they're very easy to understand so what a clone basically is is instead of moving this sprite the sprite will be hidden 
right? So instead of this, it will duplicate the sprite as a clone, and then that clone will do the movement and actions. So you can have multiple of this at a time. You can have multiple of this thing at a time without actually having multiple sprites. Just one sprite that has a bunch of clones. It's, it's not as complicated as it sounds, I promise. So when Z click, create clone of myself. Then you do when you start as a clone. We'll have like we'll have the boss shoot. So what you do is you'll do go to boss. So it'll go to the center of your boss, and that's when you want to make sure that your boss sprite. So if you that I did that by doing Control A or if you're on a Mac Command A, and then you can move that and it'll it should click right into the middle. Just make sure they're both centered in the middle. Okay. So now when, when it will go to boss and we will point towards mouse pointer. That just means like if you're aiming with your mouse and you hit Z, it'll aim the bullet towards where the mouse is on the screen, which is right here. And then it'll shoot it towards the mouse. Okay. That's what that means. And then we'll do a repeat until, which means, um, so okay let me actually just set it up and then i'll explain what it does so it repeat until touching edge um move five steps okay so what this is right here this little bit right here is basically saying uh, it will this this bit of code anything that's inside of this repeat until will repeat forever until in this case it's touching the edge so once the clone is started it will repeat moving until it touches the edge sorry my cat's making noise i'm sorry if you can hear that so it'll move until it's an edge and then after that it will delete the clone if you put delete this clone boom just like that now that works now how does randomization come into this so let's say you don't want the bullet to be straight every single time you want to maybe like stray off in different directions a little bit uh, if that doesn't make sense it will in a second so so after this point towards mouse pointer, what we can do is set secret. Or again, if you want to make a different one for this, it's completely fine. Set it from, I don't know, negative 10 to 10. So this will be in which your angle, your bullet will be strafing off into. So you have negative 10, 10, right? One second. I'm sorry. My cat's doing some stuff right now. All right. Sorry. I'm back. So set your secret to negative 10, 10. So it'll always pick a random number. You know how that works. And then what we'll do is we'll come into here. Okay. And we will. Ooh. Turn any direction. Either one is fine. To secret in this case would be one so turn that way one otherwise to turn it other direction no matter how much it chooses so let's just see this in action okay so I'll, I'll keep this here for the time being you can hide the sprite if you really want to like if you didn't want the bullet to show oh yeah right don't forget to add this back onto the bottom um and oh boy okay just like do this boop And now that disappears. Obviously, you can click space. It'll do its thing. Have its randomization of where the, it decides to go. Or can we get a one? There we go. Yin and yang. Now, you aim with your mouse when you hit Z. Oh, okay. What's happening there is... So, the bullet is hidden. Therefore, the clone will be hidden. So, you have, so when you do the start as a clone, you have to make sure it says show. Because if you don't show, then it will... Uh, it won't show the clone. And also another thing you might want to do so it doesn't spray like mad is right under here. Just put like a 0 0.1. Just so there's a time so they're not spitting out constantly and making causing lag. So let's see if we can get all of them. There we go. And then there's one. And then there's two. Aim with the mouse. Hit Z. Okay, now you see how it didn't actually go towards the mouse perfectly? And that time it touched the mouse, that time it didn't touch the mouse, touch the mouse, 
touch the mouse. Look at this. See, yeah, you see, that's why you want to have a timer. Otherwise, it'll freeze up like that and it'll get really annoying. And then your then your browser will crash. All that good kind of stuff. I'm gonna reload the page. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. So, those are three basic ways I can think where randomization can come in handy in your game. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then like it. And if you didn't like it, like it anyways, because, um, because I liked making this video. And you know, sometimes I just gotta make what I like. You know how it goes. It doesn't always have to be something crazy and cool. It can just be fun. Also, I forgot to name it. That's another reason, because I'm dumb and forgot to name it. Yeah. Uh, how random my realization can be of use. Okay. Yeah. So, while you're at it, I want to subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy my content, that help me out a lot. Also, go ahead, join the Discord, all that good stuff down in the description. You know how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.